Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a collective reading for the full moon in Virgo that is happening today, the 7th of March, 2023. So because of that, I'm using my big combined deck of uh, tarot cards and astrological oracle cards. So you'll see both of these cards in your reading today. Although there is only one astrological card here, um, but it's beautiful because it's uh, really tied to the message that I'm seeing. It's very clear. It's very simple. It's very uh, like the image that is being painted here is so literal that it could actually be happening like this with you, or it could manifest, you know, a little bit down the road through, you know, um, along this week of the full moon. Um, some sort of romantic trip, right? It's the way that I'm seeing this is like camp, camping to the mountains with a loved one or going on a road trip with a loved one where you're going to have like this dedicated time to both of you get to know each other or get cozier or um, just embrace one another. And it's coming through, it's actually like... Uh, like a really, really, really interesting adventure that is going to be kind of like a roller coaster ride, but it's going to flow seamlessly because both of you are so connected, right? It's like both of you are understanding each other. It's like despite the differences, despite the individual natures, it's like both of you are so inside your hearts right it's like the, it's just the most gorgeous reciprocal relationship that both of you are dropping into your own hearts and that's where you connect it's like the 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 points of connection this is where both of you are coming to the same page right and flowing in the most beautiful and gorgeous and surrendered way right it's like both of you you and another you and a loved one are both surrendering to the love that you feel for one another and that's that's beautiful right so we're starting with the two of cups so yes we're talking about connection right so this is coming through as the most traditional meaning ever of the two of cups right you in a very beautiful dynamic in a very beautiful constructive and very honest very um heartfelt connection right a type of relationship that you know that you can spill your heart open and it's going to be understood it's going to be well received it's going to be embraced right um so but there's also something about the um the twos to me in the tarot deck that talk about steps forward. So I feel like some somebody in this couple, right, in this partnership is taking the lead and, you know, maybe you are or maybe your partner is um, saying or suggesting, should, suggesting something like, you know, I've always had a dream because the Nine of Cups is coming after. I've always had a dream of camping with the hermit and this higher version, this major arcana version of the Two of Cups. Um, if you've heard me talking about this temperance card before, you know that this is a representation of what this is in the minor arcana, but from this major arcana point of view. Okay. That was a little bit scary. Um, uh, anyways, so going back, I'll take care of that later. Um, so the two of cups in the minor arcana and the two of cups in the major arcana, right? So there's something about a dream, right? This nine of cups is like this cherished dream that is being kept. It's like um, under wraps or it's like, in bubble wrap right um it's like there's something that either you love about or it would love to experience it's like this um it's like a very just a very significant thing 
either for you or your partner, but it's almost like the moment that they uh, suggest this to you or you suggest this for them, right? It's It could be either or. It's like the other one is already on board, right? It's like the moment that you start describing because these two major arcana here, the uh, hermit and the temperance are talking about this very detailed description of the dream. It's not just, oh, I have this very vague abstract dream of one day achieving this right it's it's not like that it's very detailed it's almost like there is already the the right address the right place the right conditions um and it's almost like you already know the type of wine that you want to bring to this camping trip right it's like that detailed and it's interesting because we're talking about a full moon in virgo and virgo is the sign that is you know most associated with details and going to the nitty gritty parts of you know organizing a trip for instance plus this is the card for virgo right so the hermit represents uh the sign of virgo in astrology so there's something that is detailed it's like the importance of the details it's like it's what is going to bring even more like it's going to be an emotional thing right it's like this shared dream that um either is the first time that you're sharing this with your partner or it's the first time that you're feeling like your partner is on board with a dream of yours and it's like they're not going to um it's like they're going to spend whatever they need to spend, whatever amount of time they need to spend on organizing this with you, right? It's like they're going to go to the minimum details to make this perfect for you or you for them. Or it's like it's it goes both ways, right? It is reciprocal. So I feel like um, there's something that, you know, either you are realizing that it's really significant about the relationship itself because the exchange between both of you, it's like, because sometimes I see this as like the, well, it's like the perfect blending, right? It's like, um, it's almost like the perfect communication. And now I'm just being reminded of the message that came through for the um, patron reading for this full moon in Virgo that was talking about this, um, exchange right this communication uh road that need to go uh that needs to go both ways and it was a communication with the earth um but here i feel like it's it's a partner right there is a loved one that is embodied as much as you are that you are getting to fulfill a dream of yours or them of uh you know of them that they are wanting to realize with you and both of you are in this together and because because you're so it's like both of your energies are so beautifully blended and the more intimate it gets right because it's like this is this is a narrow space this is a small tent right so it's like it's only when you really really love somebody that you go through you know um it's like, it's not going to, it's like, it's not the most luxurious, right? It's a camping trip. So there are going to be, uh, you know, the challenges of, you know, camping outside, right? Out in the elements. But it's like the joy and the, just the fulfillment of having this dream realized with the one that you love and them being so on board. It's like so exquisite it's like the, the most marvelous thing right it's like just it's it's incredible right the feeling of mutual reciprocity and just the exchange right it's like it's just wonderful but as i said there could be a few bumps on the road which is interesting because it's also tying back to the patron reading um but it's it was a completely different message um the Leo card, which is, you know, the only one from the Astrological Oracle card, uh, it was talking about a roller coaster ride. So because of the big bump here, right, it's, like, it's almost like I'm seeing this as a huge roller coaster. And so, but the thing about Leo in astrology is that it is the sign that rules the heart, the heart space. So 
the courage coming from the heart. And so I feel like that's where this initiative of suggesting this trip for a partner or them to you, it's like it's requiring a little bit of courage because it's almost like if this is a dream of one of you and you wouldn't know until you talk to them, until you expose this to them, that they would embark on the same dream as you, it could have, you know, been a little bit of a leap of faith, right? Or like this act of courage that required exposing a lot of your heart's desire, your it's your dream or, you know, your partner's dream. So it means a lot. And to have somebody that you love embark on the same dream, it's almost like it's even better than what you could have possibly imagined before, right? So it's almost like realizing this dream of going this place or, you know, camping in a certain park or, you know, whatever the dream is, right? It's like, but doing this with the one that you love, it has a different meaning to it. It's like you you can savor it in a different way because it it's like it um, require a little bit of um, courage and like a, a boldness in you or in them to expose that, to share that dream with the other, right? But again, it's like because it's very rustic or very out in the open it's very it's like you can you can control a few things right the details that you're both taking care of previously it's like or just you know before you go on the trip it's like you can take care or you can control so much right it's like there are other things and the way that i'm seeing this it's almost like you know if you are climbing a mountain you know there are going to be things because of the environment, because of the external conditions that you didn't anticipate. But it's like, because these two cards bring so much wisdom and because both of you are so open with your hearts, because you're open to one another, therefore it's like there is no shame, there is no fear, there is no uh, it's like there is nothing to hide or to hold back, right? You're fully there in this experience, both of you together in it, right? It's like you're in the same boat. So both of you are climbing the same mountain. So it's like the things that you cannot control beforehand, it's like you're only going to see once you're there. And maybe it requires a lot of courage, right? If you are, you know, if one of your of you right in this relationship is scared of heights and you're climbing a mountain but your partner said that they would do this for you it's like they they are being extremely courageous and brave to do this right but it's like both of you are it's like there is a lot of reciprocity so there is this um acknowledgement on both of your parts that it's like the other is going to be there for one another right it's like you are there for each other so it really doesn't matter how this roller coaster ride occurs or whatever happens happens. It is going to be experienced as like this very incredible adventure where both of you are surrendered, right? The Six of Swords to me is the card of surrender. And if I'm not mistaken, um, this card showed up yesterday in the Aries reading. Um, and it was talking about allowing and surrendering. Yeah, I feel like this was the first card yesterday for Aries. So again, another message of surrendering, although yesterday's reading was very different than today's. It, today, today it feels like it's gorgeous, right? Today it feels like it's the most remarkable energy ever because, because you're in this together, because both of you are willing right? It's like both of you are desirous about doing this together. So the willingness to confront whatever obstacle or, you know, climb whatever mountain there is, um, it's like both of you know that it's going to flow seamlessly if both of you surrender to one another. And it's like, because, because what you want is the company, right? The company of the other. So it doesn't really matter the external conditions. It's like you're preparing as much as you can beforehand to anticipate whatever you can. But it's like either way, it's going to feel gorgeous because 
the most important thing is the fact that you are together, right? And so here it's like both of you have surrendered. It's like both of you are, it's like um, courageous enough to, it's like overcome your own fears or overcome your own um, challenges, right? That require this bold move. But because you have the support of one another and the company of each other, it's like both of you are, it's like the way that I'm seeing the Six of Swords now is like that traditional image of, you know, somebody that is rowing the boat and somebody that is um, just lying down, right? And relaxing. So it's like because both of you know how to beautifully blend your energies, it's like whenever one is more tired than the other, it's like you're going to carry the heavy backpack and then, you know, let the other rest for a bit. It's like the beautiful surrender, it's like that you have each other's back, right? Because both of you have dropped into your hearts. The Five of Cups ending this um, this part of the reading talks about dropping into the heart space, right? The fives to me are all about a location or the individual, right? It's talking about like um, being completely embodied or, you know, being certain that if you... It's like if you realize the fact that you are connected to your heart, that you're connected to each other's hearts, right? Because as I said, it's like the potency of this is doing this together, right? So dropping into your own heart, it's like it opens up this bridge of connection, right? It's like the sense of fulfillment of this dream is the fact that it's even better because you're doing it with the one that you love. And you can only feel that because your heart is open to the other person's heart. So if this is you saying yes to the trip that they are proposing, it's like your heart is fully in this as much as theirs because it's almost like you're taking on their dream as if it was yours or vice versa, right? It's like it's it becomes your dream. It becomes your dream to do this with them or the other way around right because both of you it's like you want to get to the same place it's, it's almost like you are already in the same place right it's like once you drop into your heart who you meet there is the other right because you're so willing it's like this is such a reciprocal relationship that it's like gorgeous it's it's just beautiful it's really really beautiful so the moment that you arrive in your heart space it's like no matter what obstacles or environmental conditions make the trip this or that or you know a little bit challenging right like climbing a mountain it's like it's going to be extremely natural and organic and very beautiful and seamless because both of you are surrendering to the heart space so it's not about the location itself it's almost like it really doesn't matter where you uh, find a clearing to set up for the night, right? To uh, put up the tent for the night. It's not about the location itself. It's who you're with in the tent, right? So that's where you know that you have found the place because it's like, it's like your heart will tell, right? And it's like by the look in each other's eyes, it's like you're going to know where is the perfect place to camp for the night right? So I know that this is very literal, uh, apply that however it fits for you. Um, but I feel like there is something that is gorgeous about the exchange between you, right? This dynamic, this relationship is really pure. It's really loving. It's really beautiful. So it's like nourishing that but in a moment where both of you have no other distractions and you are in this gorgeous place and you can just enjoy each other's company, right? And it's like this true connection that is like, you know, connected eye to eye and heart to heart. So I am going to pull more cards 
for you in the extended and also I'm going to pull from the astrological rooms um, so if you want to join me there I'll be very happy to see you um, you can find the link down below and also if you're curious to see what the message for the patron uh, for this full moon was then also the link is down below it's the second link so I'll see you next time and happy full moon okay bye